there we go, punch three. Yeah, there we go. And we get a little bit of XP from it. So punch three. I don't know how strong it'll be. We want to get some arrows and test out. What's going on guys? How's it going? And welcome back to some more Skybounce. In today's episode, we're actually going to be getting into a little bit of enchanting, which is something that I have not touched at all on this server, is enchanting. So we're going to be doing a little bit of that. Um, to start out the episode, I have a lot of different little openables to open. Right before we hop into that, guys, if you are new here, consider subscribing down below and leave me a like. So, let's hop right into the video. Alrighty, we have, first off, some re weekly crates to open up, and then right after those, we have a lot of ore seed boxes to open. So, this is a weekly crate, and I don't think any of these weeklies can give us shards. Yeah, there's no shards. Orb of Flight, I can use that, and the Ultra Weekly, which can be Orb of Immunity. That was very quick. I did not mean to exit, but I did. Okay, we will just pop those in there super quick. And the second thing is there was two Dwarven Sky Drops. Um, nope, that's the wrong one. Dwarven Sky Drops. And I, here's everything I got out of both of them, and I put them all into this vault. That's a lot of war seed boxes. I mean, a lot. And we're also going to take everything out of here that we can sell, which is a lot. We're going to take every bit of this. Or actually, I'm not going to sell the diamonds because I need those for a chaos knot grinder, which I am working on currently. So, let's see. We're going to open up the war seed boxes in a second. Um, Let's actually do slash math real quick. And over here in ores, put all of my, uh, yeah, all those. Put all those diamonds in there. And I'm not going to worry about, actually I will, that's a lot. Let's actually put the coal up because I can use that. And there we go. All right. So I'll get my banker set before I sell those. But let's open all these guys up. So, this has three, two, and five. Let's start, we'll just start opening them. I honestly don't care. We have so many to open, it's crazy. Those Dwarven Sky Drops give so many horsey boxes. Stupid amounts. Horsey boxes, all right. I saw some diamonds in there, so that's pretty good. Any uh, gold, diamonds, and especially emeralds are appreciated. Honestly, even coal I use for fuel a lot. So, let's see what we get here. Hopefully some... Nope, it's just diamonds, all right. There we go, okay. A little bit of a glitch going on right here. Four. Quartz, prismarine, prismarine, gold, gold. All right, so that one has four. Let's put that down. This is one. We have four of them that only have one. We'll use these, and we'll use the last ones first. No emeralds out of all these so far. It's kind of disheartening. Um, let's open that. We're kind of getting a little bit buggy whenever we're placing all these. Okay, diamond, diamond, emerald. That's block, level 3. It's not bad. Let's pop this last one, and then... Actually, screw the banker. I, I want to empty out my inventory here. They go over there to the drop zone. It's actually empty out my inventory. I do not care about the banker, to be honest. I can use it any day of the week, but right now is not one of those days. So, these last four will only have one apiece, so get through these pretty quick. Clay. Level 5 clay. Why on earth do I even need clay for anything? I don't know why clay is even a thing. Iron. Let's see what we get out of this. Watch us get level 5 emerald like block seed or something. Uh, or, and our last one is. Man, we got a lot of quartz. Alright. Sell the gold real quick. There's 80,000. We're at 8 mil right now, actually. I'm not going to. Can't even open these chests. I'm not going to organize these again. I'll organize, I'll organize them off camera. I just want to dump them all in here. A lot of ore seeds. I'm opening up all the boxes I get from now on. None will be uh, left to sell. I'm not going to sell any of them. But all right, so I want to get in some enchanting, and I want to start out with a bow. 
so yes let's head I know where I can get a bow real quick without having to craft it over here at our grinder which I'm hopefully gonna be building a nicer grinder here pretty soon it's on the to-do list and I'll take that and before we put any enchantments on it we'll fix it so that it will only cost like 150 stars instead of like 150,000 alrighty so it's not gonna be a god bow but I want to put the best stuff I have on it at the moment so I know we're gonna need an enchantment table it's not like an anvil like on normal minecraft so we're gonna put that down now let's see what books we can use for a bow so knock knock back two I'm just gonna take everything that I can use on a bow and then pick out which one is best not many of these are bow enchantments there's unbreaking one um, power even though even if they're not that good I'm still gonna take them just for the heck of it reflection I don't think that's for a bow I don't know what half these are I know what most of them are velocity I don't know what the difference between power and velocity is um, more velocity reflection um, and shatter alright let's look in this one uh, counter helix I don't know what that is it seems really good though that's counter helix 8 it's for armor okay unbreaking we got shatter backstep smite Tons of eternal guillotines from uh, from uh, skelly spawners. So we got tons of these in here. Upgrade backstab. We can go through these a little bit quicker, probably. Magic touch. That's in there. I just saw that. That is another velocity. All these are velocity ones. I don't know what the difference between velocity and Velocity and power is. I think I already said that once, but I still don't know what the difference is. Where's that unbreaking? Unbreaking one. Yeah, we don't have that many good uh, good enchantments for bows. I thought we had some good ones in here. Oh yeah, there's the knockback too. That was the better one that we had. And all right, so let's dump all the back that we don't need. So there's a power one, velocity one, velocity one, velocity one. There's a velocity one, another velocity one. So we have unbreaking one, velocity one, unbreaking, another unbreaking one. Um, let's put all these in a line so we can see. Yeah, we don't have that good of books, but still, unbreaking one. Another unbreaking one, put that away. So we have velocity one, knockback two, power one, unbreaking one, and actually it's knocked. I have two knockback twos. Alright, so velocity, knockback, power, unbreaking. Nice. And we have the bow. So let's check this out. It's not going to be that good of a bow, but I just want to see how it works. How's this work? Why can I not put that in there? Um, why can this not go in oh it has to go in first okay there we go alright unbreaking just slap all these on oh yeah not back I don't know what I was thinking velocity mm, we already have power and unbreaking so apparently velocity oh it's not enough level to putting slots on it okay so I mean it's okay it's not bad but I think we're done with that okay we got a crappy ish bow so that's cool now what I want to do is pick out all of the best enchantments overall like say all immortal enchantments I'm just gonna take out right now and use those possibly to start making a really good set of armor I don't know if I'll start piecing it together right now but I can put some things together so counter helix 8 that has to be good because it's a 
Butcher. I don't know what Butcher does. Looting three. Backstab. Backstab does extra damage when you stab somebody in the back. Magic Touch, that's for a pick. That's really good. Um, reflection six. That is amazing. Not back two. That's not the best. I think not back max is at three. Fortune three. Savior four. Reflection five. Not back two again. All right. What else in here is immortal? Sharpness three. Uh, let's see. Punch three. Why did I put that on the bow? Looting three. Confetti five. Looting three. Butcher. Yeah, we'll put all these immortal enchantments in a separate chest. Just to have them kind of sorted out. So, where was the pro uh, protection? Smite. Butcher, looting, save reflection, not bag, mm, punch. I want that punch on my bow. I want punch free. But only have power one and breaking one. Hmm, let's go get another bow. I'm actually going to throw this bow away, probably. Actually, you know what? Screw that bow. Let's make a. I want a punch three. The unbreaking I could care less because I'm not going to go crazy and like run out of durability on anything really. Um, let's fix that real quick. There we go. Okay. Now we should. Now I can put at least some punch on it. It's decent. Again, I'm not building anything godly right now. Or just building something to have kind of fun with. Punch three. That is good. Uh, you need 6 XP levels. Alright. Okay, now we're at 16 levels, so we should be good. I just used inside a few times with that sword and grind through a few mobs, and we are good to go. So, let's put that in there, and... Where was our punch? Where's our punch? There we go, punch 3. Yeah, there we go. And we get a little bit of XP from it, so punch 3... I don't know how strong it'll be. We want to get some arrows and test out. We can do that. I got plenty of arrows down here. Need to get my skelly farm up and going again. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. Looks like it. It's actually. I want to spawn something super quick and like see how good the knockback is. Out in the war zone, um, the knockback will not be nearly as good. Just for the sole fact that, uh, what do I want to test on? On Enderman. Just on a pig. Just for the sole fact that the server is laggy. The server ping I don't think is going to let us go crazy. Yeah, see, I didn't even shoot. Well, we need something that can survive more than one hit. Um, it's something with high HP. That's not going to teleport. Maybe I just don't pull it back all the way. Maybe that's a trick. Maybe that's a trick. Just don't pull it back all the way. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good knockback. Oh yeah. Now see, if it worked correctly, and like the knockback did that in the war zone to players, it'd be so good. You could just bow spam, put on breaking three on that, or eternal and breaking, or whatever the heck it's called. And you'd be set. I mean, you would be good to go. Unfortunately, that's just not how it works. So we're going to put the... Let's look at all these enchantments. We got looting. We got another looting. We're going to try to kind of organize these. I know it's going to be kind of boring, but I just kind of want to do it. Another looting... We have a lot of the same things. Another looting. Smite. Protection. Alright. So those are all looting. Now let's put all the butcher. We've got tons of butchers in here. I think from the kits I've been opening. And not unlocking, but getting tons of uh, stuff out of them. Um, Alright, that's all the butcher. We've got sharpness. 
Fortune. All right. Smite three protection. All right. Let's get knockback. Another knockback. Knockback. Backstab. Smite. We got Smite. We got Savior. I think I have a few Saviors in here, don't I? At least one more. No, I don't. Okay. One Savior I'll put over there by itself. I have two Reflections, so let's put those right in there. Reflection 6. What does Counter Helix do? I don't know what Counter Helix does. Well, one Fortune 3. One Magic Touch. We have one Confetti. Protection, Backstab, and Counter Helix. Counter Helix is good. Let's put that right there. And then we have Protection and Protection and Backstab. All right. All those are singles, and these are all duplicates that we have. Have a lot of looting three. We could put on a sword right now. What, what looting do I have on this? I don't have any looting on this sword, actually. I could put looting three on this, couldn't I? Like, would that be a thing? Would that be a possibility? No free slots. Okay. Huh. When would it get another free, another free slot? It's over five levels, isn't it? I mean, I could pump this puppy up with a few, uh, few levels, but I mean, it got seventy thousand item XP. I mean, we could do that. I think I'm gonna save that for making a god set, though. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna save it. Well, so we'll put that back. We got a pretty nice bow. I can start like carrying that around my arsenal. Gonna go shoot. All right, we can use that in the war zone, and that'll be pretty nice. Unbreaking would be nice. Er, what do we have in here? Is it still cooking? Or is it done? If it's done, I'm gonna sell everything with banker. And yeah. Do slash math, and then we'll take all the gold. And all right, let's take all this armor off. There's our banker. I need to use it more than I do. The, even the little things that don't that only sell for like fifty thousand or hundred thousand, you don't even think to use them, but you need to. I mean, I need to pretty bad. Uh, we'll take all this iron, then we'll take all the poppies that we can. Make a little bit of money quickly. Like that. Do a little bit of slash my math real quick. Alright. Do that. Then we'll take... Fill up the rest of our inventory with poppies. Take all of those, all the poppies. Oh, there we go. And I wish it like showed you... Like here, like it says gold, what it sells for, iron. I wish it'd tell you like what the bonus of like your banker set. What what the banker set made you. You know what I mean? I wish that was a thing. We'll sell all these. Most people don't sell poppies. That bothers me. I like to empty these like chests all the way out. And these hoppers usually get backed up because this server and hoppers do not get along at all if you play on the server I'm sure you know if you do any type of mob farm it pretty much has to have hoppers and man alive it does not work out too well at all I don't know why really I feel like any server is going to be like that in the end I feel like it will be alright should be the last of those and we should be pretty close to 9 mil which is pretty dang good I do say so myself so if we here's a deal okay is warp what is it K here we go okay I bet he got to come build me a chaos knight grinder and well here's the deal I didn't really pay him he's like I asked who can get, come build me a chaos knight grinder and a guy was like yeah I can come do it just give me the diamond ore and I'll do it for free I mean the diamond blocks and I'll do it for free I was like oh sweet that's amazing 
and then he built this which there's 13 skelly spawners up there and it's not even a chaos knot grinder really I mean there's chaos knots that spawn but for the majority of them it's this you're literally just sitting here and hitting skeletons I mean it's not really even a chaos knot grinder it's literally this right here nine times out of ten this is what you're doing boom done pretty soon it should come down here I hear something up there going to town but yeah he pretty much yeah there's a there's one and it still has a hundred hearts it doesn't even drop at all which is I mean I'm gonna fix it I may just go use pancakes honestly and if I go over to pancakes island right now where is he at he actually got robbed which is not good didn't know that trusted people can open locked chest but unfortunately they can and he got robbed big time he's trying to figure out who did it right now I think that's what he's trying to do. sort out who took it alright these are getting in the way I'm like tired of running through it alright um I don't know what warp it is for the chaos knight IG CN yeah here we go okay this is it your guy just pretty much has to stay here and punch him because you have to be the one to kill him I don't know how this thing works so I'm don't I'm not gonna turn it on because I don't know how to turn it on uh, he... Is he talking to me oh he must be talking to somebody else um but yeah you just sit here and punch and so you gotta do you have to like punch them then they fall to their death then you get the XP because that's why people have these is for XP that's why I want it I really really want a chaos knot grinder so I'm gonna be working that off camera because I want to prestige so bad I'm just over halfway you have to get to level 100 I'm 51 currently and these daily challenges campaign challenges are not cutting it I need to get a little bit of a boost on my XP uh, income if you know what I mean but uh, yeah guys I think it's gonna do it for today's episode um, hopefully next episode we can be working on a bigger project that I have in mind but uh, yeah if you guys did enjoy the video please like comment subscribe down below hit the bell icon certified when I upload and I'll catch you guys in the next one